In this video, I'm going to discuss about the error of estimation. For the point estimation, the difference between the estimate and the true parameter value is called standard error. When using sample mean to estimate the population mean, the difference between the sample mean and the true value of the mean is called standard error of sampling mean, which is equal to sigma divided by square root of n. This is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sample mean. When using sample proportion to estimate the population proportion, the difference between the sample proportion and the population proportion is called standard error of sampling proportion, which is equal to square root of p times q divided by n this is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sample proportion. For interval estimation, when using confidence interval to estimate the population mean, the interval produced contains the population mean at a specified confidence level. If the sample mean is different from the population mean, then the difference between the sample mean and the population mean is called the error of the estimation. The sample mean can be less than or greater than the population mean. But this error is still acceptable if the interval is still including the population mean under the specified confidence level. If the difference between the sample mean and the population mean is increasing, where the population mean is same as the lower limit or same as the upper limit, then this error is the maximum error acceptable. The value of the maximum error is equal to Z alpha over 2 times the standard deviation of the sample mean. And for the population proportion, the maximum error is equal to Z alpha over 2 times the standard deviation of the sample proportion. So for conclusion, for confidence interval, the difference between the sample mean and the population mean is the estimation error or sometimes it is also called as maximum error of sampling mean which is equal to z alpha over 2 times the standard deviation of the sample mean. The difference between the sample proportion and the population proportion is the estimate error or the maximum error of the sampling proportion which is equal to Z alpha over 2 times the standard deviation of the sample proportion. Now we have learned that the estimation error for the population mean is equal to z times the standard deviation of the sample mean and the estimation error for the population proportion is equal to z times the standard deviation of the sample proportion. So now I'm going to discuss if the sample size changes what are the effects on the estimation error, the width of the confidence interval, and the confidence level? Now, if I wish to keep the confidence level unchanged, and since Z value is related to the confidence level, if the confidence level unchanged, then the Z value is also unchanged. 
so now I'm going to ignore the Z value so now when the sample size increases and since error is inverse proportional to the sample size so when sample size increases then the estimation error decreases when the error decreases then the width of the confidence interval becomes smaller so when the width of the confidence interval becomes smaller with the confidence level unchanged then the precision is increasing or the accuracy of the result increases so similarly when the sample size decreases the error increases the confidence level is becomes wider then the precision decreases now if i wish to keep the estimation error unchanged when the estimation error unchanged then the width of the confidence interval also unchanged and when i rearrange the equation and i ignore the value of the error so we can see that the sample size is direct proportional to the z value here so when the sample size increase then the z value also increase so since z value is related to the confidence level so when z value increase then the confidence level increases so similarly when the sample size decreases the confidence level also decreases now i'm going to discuss if the confidence level changes what are the effects on the sample size the estimation error and the width of the confidence interval if i wish to keep the sample size unchanged and when the confidence level increases means the z value also increases when z value increases then the estimation error increases when estimation error increases then the width of the confidence interval also becomes bigger so therefore the precision of the result decreases similarly when the confidence level decreases the error decreases then the confidence interval becomes smaller then therefore the precision of the result increases if i wish to keep the estimation error unchanged then the width of the confidence interval also unchanged and when i rearrange the equation and ignore the estimation error then when i increase the confidence level so the z value also increase so when z value increases then the sample size need to be increased so similarly when the confidence level decreases then the sample size need to be decreased in order to keep the error unchanged now let's try some questions a teacher wishes to estimate the number of vehicles that pass by his school according to a previous study the standard deviation of the number of vehicles passing by his school per day is 245 calculate the number of days required so that he is 99% confident that the estimate is within 100 vehicles of the true mean now the statement the estimate is within 100 vehicles of the true mean this statement means the difference between the estimate value and the true value 
is less than or equal to 100. So that is the estimation error is less than or equal to 100. And the confidence level is 99%. So alpha is 1 minus 0 0.99, that is 0 0.01 and alpha over 2 is 0 0.005 so from the normal table z value for alpha over 2 0 0.005 is 2.576 and standard deviation is 245 so when we calculate n is greater than or equal to 39.83 and since n represents the number of days so this is an integer so therefore the number of days required is 40 question b the standard deviation of the number of vehicles is actually 356 based on the sample size in a determine the confidence level for the estimate to be within 100 vehicles of the true mean. Given that the estimation error is within 100, which is less than or equal to 100, with the actual standard deviation 356 and sample size 40, when I calculate, the Z value of alpha over 2 is less than or equal to 1.777. And when we look at this diagram, when Z value is 1.777, this shaded region is the value of alpha over 2. That is, alpha over 2 is the probability when z is greater than 1.777 z greater than 1.777 is equal to 1 minus z less than 1.777 and from the normal table it is 0 0.9622 so therefore alpha over 2 is 0 0.0378 and alpha is 0 0.0378 times 2, it is 0 0.0756. Then for confidence level, it is 1 minus alpha. And the confidence level is in the form of percentage, which is 92.44%. And since Z alpha over 2 is less than or equal to 1.777 therefore the confidence level is also less than or equal to 92.44% Next example Jane chooses a random sample of 200 people from her town and finds that 38 live in apartments she uses the sample to give a confidence interval of width 0.1 for this proportion this interval is an x percent confidence interval find the value of x from the question we know that the width of the confidence interval for the population proportion is 0.1 and since the estimation error is equal to half of the width of the confidence interval, so therefore the estimation error is equal to 0 0.1 divided by 2. With the sample proportion is 38 over 200 and sample size is 200. So when I calculate, I find that Z alpha over 2 is 1.8025 which means alpha over 2 is equal to the probability when Z is greater than 1.8025 From the normal table, it is equal to 0 0.0357 and alpha is 0 0.0357 times 2, it is 0 0.0714
So therefore, x is the confidence level which is 1 minus alpha times 100 and it is 92.86%. The second part of the question, due to some financial problems, she decided to change the sample size to 100. State the possible effect if she wishes to keep the accuracy of the result unchanged. We know that this is the estimation error for the population proportion. When the accuracy unchanged means the error is also unchanged. When the error unchanged, then the sample size is directly proportional to the Z value. So when we reduce the sample size, this will cause the Z value decrease in order to keep the error unchanged. If the Z value decrease, this means that the confidence level also decrease. So therefore, the possible effect is the confidence level decreases. Next example, Citi conducted a market survey in a town to estimate the proportion of children like McDonald in the town. She wants the estimate proportion to be within 0 0.1 using 90% level of confidence. No estimation is available for the population proportion. What is the required sample size? If the estimation proportion is unavailable, then 0 0.5 is used. Because when the estimate proportion is equal to 0 0.5, then the standard deviation is the maximum value. So therefore, we choose pH as 0 0.5, Z value when the confidence level 90%, so Z value is 1.65. And the estimate proportion is to be within 0 0.1. So means the estimation error is less than or equal to 0 0.1. So when calculate, we find that N is greater than or equal to 68.0625. And since N represents the sample size, which is the integer value, so therefore, n is equal to 69.